Welcome to Glacier. I just played this game for about 15 minutes. It's absolutely incredible, but because it's a demo, it's extremely poorly optimized in certain parts. Like the entire intro to the demo drops to like 15 FPS. It's, it's pretty terrible. But the gameplay itself is like you're a sea creature surviving and hunting an evil version of your species who seeks to eliminate all of you while battling giant sea monsters and other various types of awesome things. So it's, it's a pretty freaking amazing game. We just gotta skip the intro in the tutorial. She basically just talks for like 15 minutes about your little pooey, a fish that's been entrusted to you to assist you on your adventures, and then the red one, the evil version of your species who seeks to destroy all of you and basically just extinct you. I didn't explain it as beautifully as the woman did, but I didn't do it at 15 FPS, so it kind of breaks even a little bit. Either way though, the best part of this game is like the swimming, ocean survival, and monster hunting, so that's primarily what we're gonna focus on today. Leave a like on the video if you guys love sea monsters, or if you've never contracted HIV, and let's get into it. If you do got AIDS, you could leave a like also, but wash your hands or something. Alright, into the sea of tranquility we go to hunt down the elders to protect them from the red one, the evil version of our species who seeks to destroy the last remaining bits of our species. And then like the wise ones are the only ones that could bring our species back. It's pretty beautiful. It's crazy how well the game is optimized once you get into this past the tutorial. So this is like us. This is 65 million years in the future at the end of earth where some kind of bird sea creature hybrid evolution. This game has an unfathomable amount of content. I can't even like, I can't even put it into words right now. Most of it's not even covered in the demo anyways, but just like memory levels, twi memory, which is what we are, we're a twi, that's like our species. We have heat capacity, heating eggshells or healing eggshells. We, we heal with eggshells, which is crazy. One muscle, one brain, nerves, lung, skeleton. I'm assuming those numbers go up. I'm assuming they're things we eventually increase about ourselves. You can equip different quills, blades, and other stuff for winged attacks. She will talk for about 15 minutes if you click on any of these tabs, so I'm not going to always give her the time of day. The quills that grow at the center are called shard quills. They detach easily and can be used as projectiles to fire from a distance. We do have a ranged attack. She just really loves to draw it out. It is an interesting concept though, because they're used for melee and they're used for range. And you can equip and do different things with them, meaning there will be a wide range of, I don't know, just different weapons to equip yourself with. Which is trippy because they're body parts, but that, that's just life. The entire planet's frozen over as well, so the entire game takes place underwater. Pretty freaking cool. I love the swimming and everything. It feels so good, except for the occasional frame rate drop, which is just because it's a demo. It's pretty spectacularly amazing. Like, you really do swim completely freely, and it feels legit. If only there was a way to launch ourselves out of the water, but I get that's not part of the game. Actually, what is going on here? Because that was plants growing through the ice. This is why it starts to remind me of Monster Hunter, because we're hunting monsters, but not just that. We have our little pet buddy, our fish. We collect crystals and items throughout the... It's, it literally just feels just like an underwater Monster Hunter, but I think that's just because Monster Hunter is the only monster hunting game I've played. Like, 99% of my gaming life was mostly just on Halo. But, like, in all fairness, do you know how hard it was to get max reach on... I mean, max rank on Halo reach? That, that shit was almost impossible. Keep on progressing through. This is where I get so confused. Because you rest to heal. I get that. I get that totally. But, like, lay eggs? Rest and lay eggs to heal? I just didn't know we were pregnant. Essentially, we're asexual and could self, like, duplicate. I'm assuming that's what the egg is, right? Which would make our species population being threatened very confusing. I could, I could repopulate us by myself. This looks gatherable. Is this? Oh, it is. Fancy seaweed. We got some emor and vitamins. Does that really work? Did you press the mouse wheel? Spin! Oh, wow, that's magnificent. If you scroll down, you go down. If you scroll up, you lunge up. Just many different ways to evade sea monster attacks in thine ocean. Woof! You thought, bitch. That was actually crazy. Oh my god! Dude, you are so agile in this game. I forgot how to lock on. How do you... Oh, T. T is how you lock on. Our range is actually pretty powerful, but it's got like that slight recharge. That's like a starter enemy, I'm assuming. A Riga. Yeah, of course it's starter, because we just started with it. You dumb idiot. So mean to myself. All right. Alright. 
Guys, we're clearly visibly out, and I'm still trying, so I was reading the thing. <laughs> oh! You really do need range for these guys specifically. They're they're a pain in the balls to track down for melee. Explains why this is where we test range apps. I thought because it was locked on, it would just auto go to it. It did not do that. I asked the Pui to attack? How did I do that? I asked him to be a light source? How am I giving commands to this little guy? There's so much going on right now. You look me in the eyes, you can see me visibly being overstimulated. This is the demo and I have no way to utilize these crystals. Ultimately, they will go to nothing, but they're shiny. Little to no self-control when it comes to shiny. I tried hitting these things for like five minutes when I was first testing it out and it can't be done. And I'm still trying. I asked the Pui to attack. I'd love to know how I'm giving this little fish commands right now. I haven't said one damn word to the little guy. Right. Commanding the Pui. You can command him with C. Okay. Ask him for backup, light source, and attack. Okay, so it just cycles through those three. I see now what I've been doing. He can die though, can't he? So I guess just like, careful. You, you can be backup. Don't be our primary attacker. Evade! Oh my god. The evading feels so nice because you can evade up and down. Like it's, it's just a whole game changer. As to what we're used to. Go down, go down! Oh my god, he's still stuck in the freaking throwing animation. That was intense. Not really, but just like this going up and down stuff to evade monster attacks. No! They make you bond with this damn thing in the tutorial. They make you rub noses and butterfly kiss each other and he just died as my backup. Bro, he didn't even make it past the tutorial. She did say don't get emotionally attached to it in the 10 FPS moment of the intro, but then they make you bond with it and rub noses and Eskimo kiss with like your eyelashes. It's just, it was horrible, bro. I can't believe how weak that damn thing is. Maybe the more you bond with it, the stronger it gets. And we just sent that a goober. And now we lay another egg. The mystification of this game is not lost upon me. Does our egg hatch a pooey? I'm so damn confused right now. I don't think it matters. Lunging into creatures is so risky like what I just did because then you have to wait a few seconds for another lunge and you've already lunged into the creature. This, this thing's lightning powers sound exactly like what poop sounds like. And I remember freaking out over it so much now. Like, I don't think Japan knows what lightning sounds like because that is the sound of, of, of human poop. Just deal with these guys with rage. Their electric abilities are too much. I'm never getting attached to my little fish again. I realize they die that easy and then come right back. Soulless, replaceable little bastard. Whoop! It made me aim up, okay? I'm not just that stupid. It did that to me. Oh my god! Just finish it, bro. Just finish it. No, get back. Get back. Get back. We can heal it. Oh my god! You're too strong, bro. My health just shot down to nothing right there. Damn. And another one. We're out of range. We got to do melee this time. This is so fun. And for someone who's, like, slightly confused throughout this entire process, I'm still having a blast right now. I don't know what these are, but they look shiny as all hell, and I need them. Why are there so many teeth just chilling in the wild? You meth heads. I don't want my Pookie. You know what? I'm sending him in there. I'm sending him there to attack. Go get him, little buddy. Pookie! I mean, Pooey! Why is everything poop around here? The sounds, the fish. There's also a bit of a language barrier going on right here. I'm sure people who regularly watch anime know how to correct this stuff. I, um, I mostly just watch Batman movies and horror stuff, which sounds crazy, but there's literally like 45 Batman movies out there once you get into animated stuff. There's something for every day. I have nothing against anime. I've seen like AOT and all that stuff a bunch, but like, I don't know, man. There's so many lessons to learn for Batman movies. Essentially though, I miss out on a large part of Japanese culture. Which is trippy, because my uncle lives in Japan. I have two Japanese half-cousins, but I don't know, man. Batman, you know what I mean? 
And now to get through this, you must heat your blades. Pretty nifty, the freaking karate this birdfish can bust out. Stay on it, little buddy. You gotta really freaking mow through it. We've gained entry into the darkness. Sweet, get to lay an egg. We have a homing instinct. I ruined it by sleeping. That's sweet, you can fast travel to any nest on the map, though. Where's the damn map? That's pretty great. Yeah, there they are, nests. Nifty. Man, if I spoke Japanese, I'd be so much more on point right now. Culture yourself, Johnny, you animal. Spamming melee before I go in there is just for my own survival at this point. Okay, he's gonna do the electric thing, so it's gonna be electric balls, and he's gonna do the freaking, and then you get in there and finish him. Just like Monster Hunter, you just gotta fight him a couple times to predict everything they're gonna do. Of course, these should be infinitely easier to predict, but I was overwhelmed by the beauty of this world. Do your lightning. Get it out of the way, you fish. That's derogatory. Fish is an insult. Okay, this one seems to lack lightning abilities. It's just a bigger kind of those. Why would you do that so close, you idiot? Oh, I tried swooping down, but it was too... Like, you gotta have your animations clear. You can't be mid any other animation. I just tried to do range while he was pushing me. I seriously think there's something wrong with my brain. It's just so much safer, but it's not when you're close. Johnny, get it through your head, man. These creatures do look magnificent, though. Simple, yet beautiful. Honestly, I haven't had face cam on in like a month. All right, I'm nervous. People watching my face while I focus. Judging me? Strange bright stone. Stone. Minerals. Minerals, Marie. All right, I think we just have a bunch of these. I wonder if we're gonna see it a, a tier three. Honestly, rain is made for the lighting. Oh shit, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God. Stop auto-locking onto them. They have so much rage. There's so much going on right now. Okay, we're gonna die. Oh my god. Swim! Swim for your life! What the shit is going on? I have a level up ready as well. But I'm not 100% sure where to even use that level up just yet. That's just ridiculous, bro. That is a ridiculous ability. I wish it affected the other ones. Like, like, oh god! Like they could get, they could get the other ones, and they're while they're trying to get us. I don't think that ability affects other species. I mean, other the same species. Yeah, well, that one's dead. That was the one I was most worried about. Oh god! Yeah, this stuff. I don't know the significance of it, but it's significant. Damn it! The rage really is amazing in this. Down, down, down! Woof! This is so much fun. I'm hesitating and doing terrible, but it's a blast. <laughs> you! You shit ass fish! Dude, these fish launching. No, oh no, my god! He was literally crapping fire at us. It was charging out of his butt, and you cannot tell me that poo poo noise was anything else. I'm a grown man, I won't fall for it. Okay, level up ready. Where is this level up? Because there's abilities, but we don't have any new abilities. There's wings, we don't have any new wings. We don't have any mutations, we haven't learned any mutations yet. Items, quest, log, stats. It's gotta be stats. We're 45 XP over level one, but I don't know where essentially to put levels into stuff. Oh, damn. That's pretty remarkable. Basic but perfect for my current level of experience. All right, so there, level two achieved officially. I think this is what I was actually looking for. There, now we could actually upgrade stuff. I see. Okay, brain raises your ability, attack power. Certain mutations can also shorten cooldown time. Muscle raises your melee attack. Certain mutations, okay. 
Nerves raises your ranged attack power. Heart and lungs raises your stamina. And skeleton raises your damage resistance. I think I'm going to go for this one. Resistance and nerves. Because that's what I've mainly focused on. Just being a coward who stands back and shoots. Not proud of it, but whatever. What's that noise, bro? The sea creatures are respawning back there. Should we just keep killing them and leveling up forever? Does it work that way? Could we be much stronger when we go up against the next thing? That would be pretty sweet. Oh, damn! That was awesome. We make much shorter work of them this time. I wonder how many... We, I guess we need 250 experience to get to level 3. This is kind of addicting. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty addicted. I'm into it. You're so weak now. Whoa! Wow, I feel the power coursing through my veins. Is Orr swimming all the way back there for two level ones? I don't know. What is this low dwelling didgeridoo noise I hear? It's like some some freaking speedboat is cruising above us. I guess focus this one because he's got more. Oh my god, where that thing come from? Ah! Damn, they interrupted my ability. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh my god. What's the range on that? Super close range. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Woo! I thought I could kill it before it did the thing. I was so wrong. I was so freaking wrong. Nature is to be respected and feared. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Can't just spam it because they have that double attack. That double attack is pretty great. I tried to scroll down in time to get away from it. I was trying to dodge it so beautifully and it was just unresponsive. You've let me down. My pooey. I'm scrolling. Okay, there he goes. That it's, it's definitely pretty... I feel like that does need some work because like now it's doing it first time. It was not doing it first time before. I feel like there's a lot on the line when something's trying to attack you. You need your stuff to work. You know what I mean? But it's a demo. It's not doing it again. You have to be holding still. He's, he's literally... I'm scrolling and he's not going... Oh, now it's happening. Okay, that is not something to depend upon. I stick to it like relying on the evading from side to side and such. Yes, my pooey shall provide a light source. I'm definitely saying that wrong. Defeat the alpha Guido? I think that's a racial slur for Italians. Where is he? Oh! Oh, God! Oh, beautiful. Oh, just yelled at us. Nonsense. Oh my god. I'm stuck on the freaking surface and it's not letting me scroll down. God damn, this is scary. There's too much on the line for anything to be janky in the slightest right now. Oh, I was hoping he'd charge into it. Conserve your stamina. Conserve your moves. Can serve your everything. Learn his attacks. Now it's no time to be sloppy. What the fuck? Ah! We barely did anything right there. We hit him in like the worst spot possible. Descend. Descend, please, I beg you. Okay, unlock off him and freaking descend on your own. Bowie, I need you to attack him. Get him off of me. Oh, critical. Swim for your life! I'm crapping my pants right now. If my Pooey dies right now, I'm pretty sure he's out of this fight for good. Like, he's not going to respawn. So we got to keep him as just backup. That that sucked. The auto, lo the locking on will get you killed. It, it limits your freaking movement so much. Easy. I think my dude's still just providing a light source. Nope, now he's a light source. Oh! That is such an annoying attack, bro. He's dying pretty easy, so that's great. Pretty magnificent, though. This is a sweet boss battle. I'm loving it. Oh, minuscule tail attacks. And no shit! I'm gonna have to send my Pooey in full aggression. When he, when he gets weak, I'm going to do it. I'm going to send him in on one little suicide run. We need our range to freaking 
Come back quicker. What are you doing? Out of the way! <laughs> you dick. Oh! He stunned the hell out of us. Oh, because we're dead. That one hit killed us. I was not freaking sweating nearly as much as I should have. Let's literally just keep a steady swim away from him. Don't lunge or do anything crazy. Keep a steady swim away from him. And you can just keep wailing on the guy at a safe distance. Wailing on a shark? The irony is not lost upon me. Yeah, he's gonna get close and he does his attacks. But then by the time he does it, at a cool swim away, you're already a safe distance. It's the perfect system. That attack is annoying as hell though. Okay, descend. This nope. Oh, oh god, it auto locks me onto him. That auto lock is treacherous. Yeah, I think he only has one of those specific lunges. Tail smack, and then tail smack, and then dead. That was awesome. He's not dead. I timed it awfully. Oh, there we go. What? What's he made out of? Oh, he's got a second layer of health. I'm an idiot, bro. That's what I get for never playing any Dark Souls games. <laughs> no! Okay, it's now nighttime, bro. Can't even see this damn thing at night. Oh my god, it just appears right in front of you. Nighttime's freaking terrifying in this game. All right, so I'm not losing this time. I've had enough of this crap. You! I'll even switch to standard melee. See, the issue there is we just have such short stamina. And when he gets us where he can get us, like you have to keep a decent range from this monster. I don't know, man. He's the worst. Oh, turning your back on this guy is insane. You think because you're swimming far away fast that you're safe, but you're not, bro. Not at all. He's always right behind you. You just gotta keep a freaking eye on him and just keep up the melee. No! 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 My fish took those shots for us, bro. He's a freaking hero. My fish is a literal hero. That's insane. That little bastard is clutching it. Nope, 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 nope. No! I've come too far to die this stupid. All right. This was legitimately kind of tough, not gonna lie. I had to shut up and focus. It's not easy for me to shut up. <laughs> I think we've lured in the rest of the creatures. Or they've broken a new way forward for us. It's a cutscene, so the frame rate might be dropping. That seems to happen with this game a lot. They're scattering. We've saved the area. And thus the world. Enter the sea of tranquility. I do feel certainly wisdomous. If the game craps out, I'm sorry. It's the cutscenes, they seem to do it. Prepare for what happens next. Alright, search for clues of the wisdomous ones. Oh, that was the end of the demo. Okay, well, that's good. That's a fun game, dude. I gotta get so much better at these monster hunting games. It's been a while since Monster Hunter World came out. I've been in hiatus till Wilds comes out, but this is remarkable. Oh, crap, we're back in the, the tutorial den. This is where the frame rate really drops. Yeah, it's already pooping out a bit. All right, so I'm gonna end this demo here. I'd explore more, but again, in the tutorial area, it just, it just craps out. I can already see it dropping to like 12 FPS for some reason. I don't. It's just like poorly optimized in here. Either way, though, this game's incredible. A freaking awesome adventure I can't wait to embark in. So leave a like if you guys want to see more. Subscribe. And if you do all those, YouTube will show you when this game comes out and I finally post and beat the entire thing. But yeah, see you later. <laughs>